Oh hey, I'm gonna teach you how to make some greasy ass fucking nachos today. First off, you're gonna need your salsa. I emptied my salsa into a bowl to make it easier. Then you're gonna need a lot of this fucking red hot, Frank's red hot cayenne pepper shit. Lots of this old El Paso taco sauce. Uh, it's shredded cheese blend, light mild cheddar, pizza, mozzarella, and light parmesan cheese. And some Tostito style, restaurante style fucking chip, fucking nacho things here. So, yeah. Next, you're gonna take these chips here and put them on the same plate you cooked your pizza pops with. Let's see it here. Put as many as you'd like. But these are layered nachos, so keep that in mind. Now that you have your nachos on a plate, dump some of this fucking red hot Frank's hot stuff and fucking dump that shit all over that room. Yeah, super greasy. And also take your old El Paso uh, taco sauce shit. Open that and also dump some of that on there too. Here. And you put the hot sauce on on the first layer to make up for the lack of salt so that would uh, not make it through to that first layer after you put your next layers on here. So. Next, you're going to want to put more of these uh, Tostitos on. Now that you have your second layer of chips on there, you can continue to douse it with the Frank's Red Hot. Yeah, so here. And the old El Paso taco sauce. On to the next step. Next, take your salsa, you distribute it as evenly as possible throughout these nachos. Then, you take your cheese blend, and you distribute that shit evenly as well. Drop that shit on there pretty much. Now, the last step before you cook these is to put more of this Frank's Red Hot shit on. And I'm using the original, the uh, cayenne pepper original sauce here. Frank's Red Hot is pretty good. You can put it on pretty much anything. I ate it on chicken nuggets the other night and that shit kicked ass. Here we go. Dump that on once more. Just give the cheese a little bit of color. And there you go. One plate of nachos that really is super greasy, ready to be cooked. Yeah. The final step is to put them in the microwave here. And, you know, uh, put them in for maybe two minutes, just to make sure every little bit of cheese and everything gets melted evenly. Weather's pride. Now that they're done, you can pull them out of the microwave. You have one greasy ass plate of fucking nachos. Right here. Look at that shit. Part of every person's balanced and nutritious breakfast. You're gonna want to let your nachos sit for about uh, 30, 30 seconds to a minute, maybe 45 seconds, depending on how long you put them in. If you put them in for two minutes, it's best to let them sit for 45 seconds. That shit will burn your fucking mouth. So, 
enjoy the nachos. Hope you enjoyed this video recipe. Probably won't be the last one I do.